so far is uh, the open source Live Nation. So we're a global curated community hosting secret, intimate music concerts in people's living rooms every month in hundreds of cities all over the world. So we kept on going to shows and being disappointed by the experience. This is a sort of product dissatisfaction company, if you know what I mean. Uh, we were tired of that feeling like the artists weren't being respected or the uh, or people weren't engaging with, the, with them in the way that we thought they should be able to. Um, so we put on some shows, we made them invite only, we asked, we gave people a few ground rules. That sort of that simple structure seemed to touch a zeitgeist and through global interconnectivity we were able to scale that up very very quickly into a worldwide community who all had been in the back of their heads thinking the same thing. Troy Carter who was um, running the panel had the Mark Twain quote of um, you know, news of my death has been wildly exaggerated and I think that's the state of music uh, music in general as well. We sort of went through the last 10 years of everybody panicking because distribution methods were changing, price points were altering, and products were changing. But ultimately, what we found is in recorded music, in publishing, in, uh, in live, people still like to listen to music. Um, uh, and although the structures of that have changed, the uh, that fundamental demand means that the industry, is, in my opinion, has never been in better health.